with Miss Rachel that has everything to do with preschool and music all rolled in one. I am so excited that you are here today because we are gonna have so much fun. So let's start with a guessing game. What do turkey, cranberry sauce, mashed potatoes, and stuffing all have in common? Stay tuned to find out. what cranberry sauce, stuffing, turkey, and mashed potatoes all have in common? Thanksgiving! Welcome to Miss Rachel's Thanksgiving Music Petite Special, where everything we do today has to do with Thanksgiving. And I love Thanksgiving because I get to spend it with my family and my friends. And do you know who else we get to spend it with today? Do you remember my musical cow, Lily Bell? Why don't we get her out here? She has four legs and likes to trot. She jumps and leaps, has lots of spots. Who's black and white and sings so well? Moo, moo. Here comes Lily Bell. Hi, Lily Bell. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Music Petite with Miss Rachel, my preschool channel that has everything to do with music and preschool all rolled into one, where you're gonna have so much fun singing and dancing and doing dramatic play with me. So make sure that you subscribe below so that you don't miss out on anything new. I hope to see you again soon, bye. Lily Bell, I am so excited that you joined us today because we have so much Thanksgiving fun to do with all of our preschool friends outside. So why don't you say a hello moo to everybody. Well, thanks Lily Bell, that was super sweet. So since this is our Thanksgiving special and Miss Rachel is wearing a pumpkin shirt, I thought it'd be fun to start off in our favorite place for Thanksgiving all around the kitchen. Moo, 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 moo. Lily Bell loves Thanksgiving too. All right, everybody. So we are going to learn a song called All Around the Kitchen, Cock-a-doodle-doo, okay? All right, Lily Bell's gonna say bye-bye for a minute and I'm gonna teach you the song. Bye-bye, Lily Bell. Bye-bye. Okay, so my song goes like this and I need your help. It's really easy and you'll figure out how to do it. it goes like this. All around the kitchen, cock a doodle doodle do. All around the kitchen, cock a doodle doodle do. Put your hand on your hip, cock a doodle doodle do. Let your right foot slip, cock a doodle doodle do. All around the kitchen, cock a doodle doodle do. All around the kitchen, cock a doodle doodle do. And you jump in place, cock a doodle doodle do. And you run right here, cock a doodle doodle do. All around the kitchen, cock a doodle doodle do. All around the kitchen, cock a doodle doodle do. And you wiggle your arms, cock a doodle doodle do. And you touch your toes, cock a doodle doodle do. All around the kitchen, cock a doodle doodle do. All around the kitchen, cock a doodle doodle do. Put your hands in the air, cock a doodle doodle do. Wave them like you don't care, cock a doodle doodle do. All around the kitchen, cock a doodle doodle do. All around the kitchen, cock a doodle doodle do. And you stop right there, cock a doodle doodle do. Put your hand on your hip, cock a doodle doodle do. Let your right foot slip, cock a doodle doodle do. All around. The kitchen got the doodle doodle do. Bok, bok. Hey everybody, I'd like you to take a look behind me because Lily Bell has just alerted me that we have a backpack here. A backpack. What? Lily Bell says it's a magic backpack. I don't know. I've never seen this backpack before. Lily Bell, did you put the backpack here? You didn't? Lily Bell says she didn't put the backpack here and she says it's magic. So I'm kind of thinking maybe we should open up the backpack. Do you think we should do that? Should we open up the backpack? All right, Lily Bell, are you ready to open up the backpack? 
She says it's magic. Let's find out what's inside. All right, let's get our music started. Magic backpack time. Magic backpack time. Open it. knows more than she's telling us. Lily Bell, what is this? What's going on with this magic backpack? <gasps> oh, the magic backpack is telling us that it is time for Miss Rachel to tell you the story of Brown Bear. Oh my goodness. I love the story of Brown Bear. And you know what? All the things that are on my table right there have to do with the story of Brown Bear. So, why don't we get ready and I'm gonna tell you the story. Hello my friends and welcome to Music Petite with Miss Rachel, my preschool channel that has everything to do with music and preschool all rolled into one, where you're gonna have so much fun singing and dancing and doing dramatic play with me. So make sure that you subscribe below so that you don't miss out on anything new. I hope to see you again soon, bye. It's time to tell the story of Brown Bear it was November and the crisp leaves covered the ground and the trees were bare. It was so cold outside and Brown Bear was feeling sleepy. It was time for Brown Bear to take his deep sleep until spring. Sally Pilgrim and Brown Bear were best friends. They played together all spring and all summer and she loved Brown Bear so much and missed him while he was away each winter. Each year, she held a Thanksgiving feast. She invited all of her friends and family. Brown Bear was always invited, but he never came. He was asleep. Sally decided this year would be different. Brown Bear would be there if it were the last thing she did. Sally got together her other animal friends to decide what to do. Friends, she said, each year I invite Brown Bear to come to Thanksgiving feast, and each year, he never comes. I want this year to be different. How can I get him here? The animals thought and thought and thought until Wise Owl said, I know, let's tempt Brown Bear with yummy Thanksgiving food. That's a great idea, said Chatty Squirrel. The smells of Thanksgiving will surely entice him to join us. Bouncing Bunny replied, yes. Who couldn't refuse Thanksgiving treats? One by one, they would go and try to tempt Brown Bear with yummy Thanksgiving treats and wake him up. So the first one to go was Owl. He flew through the forest all the way to Brown Bear's den with a giant bowl of mashed potatoes. They smelled so good. And he put the bowl of mashed potatoes right in front of Brown Bear. And he sang.
tried, but nothing he would do would wake up that brown bear. So he went all the way back and Sally Pilgrim said, how did it go? Did you wake up brown bear? Do you have him with you? No, said Wise Owl. Chatty Squirrel said, that's okay. I'm going to go wake up brown bear with some yummy, delicious, savory turkey. So Chatty Squirrel picked up the turkey and ran through the forest as fast as his little legs could carry him all the way to Brown Bear's den and he put the luscious turkey right in front of Brown Bear. Brown Bear sniffed. Brown Bear yawned. Oh. And Brown Bear said, mm-mm. And he fell back to sleep. And so Chatty Squirrel tried to sing to him too. tried and he tried so he ran all the way back to Sally Pilgrim's house and told her the bad news and Sally Pilgrim said oh I really want brown bear here and so she looked at bouncing bunny and said all right bouncing bunny it's your turn why don't you bring him this green bean casserole that is sure to wake him up I know it's brown bear's favorite and so bouncy squirrel said okay I'll bring it to brown Bear. And so Bouncy Squirrel bounced all through the forest to Brown Bear's den. And when he got there, he could see that Brown Bear was fast asleep. So he bounced up to Brown Bear and shook him. Brown Bear! Brown Bear! I have green bean casserole for you. Wake up! Come on, Brown Bear, wake up! told her the news and she said I can't believe this I want brown bear here at my Thanksgiving Papa dear it's up to you will you bring brown bear some pumpkin pie and so Papa dear who's very shy most of the time nodded his head and put the pumpkin pie on his back as he walked all the way through the forest to brown bear's lair and he trotted in very quietly and he said, you know, brown bear, there's a lot of food that's been brought to you and Sally Pilgrim would really like to have you at Thanksgiving. I have pumpkin pie. Do you think this will wake you up? And he put down the beautiful pumpkin pie. Brown bear opened an eye. Brown bear opened the other eye. He looked at the pumpkin pie. 
Brown Bear loves pumpkin pie. He took his paw and he put it right in the pumpkin pie and he stuffed it in his mouth. Um, num, 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 num. I love pumpkin pie. And do you know what? It worked. Brown Bear followed Papa Deer all the way back to Sally Pilgrim's house. And Sally Pilgrim couldn't believe her good luck when she opened the door and she saw Papa Deer with Brown Bear walking behind them. Sally Pilgrim was so excited that Brown Bear came to Thanksgiving and it was the best Thanksgiving that she'd ever had. Brown Bear ate and ate and ate and ate everything on his plate. And after Brown Bear took his last bite at the table, he fell back to sleep. But Sally Pilgrim didn't mind because Brown Bear had been with her for her Thanksgiving and it was the best one ever.